Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, another infringement on the uh, Second Amendment rights of law-abiding gun owners in this country is making its way through the ranks. And this time it's a, another dangerous one that is nonpartisan, which means it's introduced by Democrats and Republicans. And some of them, the Democrats are the most crazy uh, anti-gunners we've ever heard of. And on the other hand, are some of the golden boy pro-gun uh, senators that we have. So stick by and check this one out. Uh, this one is called the Fix Nix Act of 2017. And the Nix system, if you're not familiar with it, if you're like growing up under a rock, is the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, uh, which came along in 19... 98, I believe, was the actual year after the Brady Bill came through in 93, 93 and 4 and then just destroyed everything. And this system came up and got rid of the waiting areas, the waiting times in most of the states. You know, some still have them, unfortunately. But this bill is aiming to fix broken links in the NICS system. And I'm going to give you the list of the senators who were behind this devious uh, bill. Uh, Senator John Cornyn. Texas Republican you might have heard his name on this channel last week as well who he was tr actually he was helping Diane Feinstein the anti-crazy gunner who was responsible for the Brady Bill and the, and the assault weapon ban in uh, 94 he's helping her bump stock ban get heard on the uh, the committee level the Judiciary Committee not good stuff not good when the top pro-gun senator John Cornyn is working with the top anti-gun senator Dianne Feinstein. This is two pieces of legislation that they're working on together in a matter of a week. You need to start waking up and paying attention. California and Texas. You need to get on these people. This is crazy. So who else is in this? So we got John Cornyn, Texas, Republican. Tim Scott, South Carolina, Republican. Orrin Hatch, Utah, Republican. Dean Heller, Nevada, Republican. Gene Shaheen, Democrat, New Hampshire. Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut Democrat. Chris Murphy, Connecticut Democrat. And of course, the Wicked Witch herself, Dianne Feinstein of California Democrat. These people are working together in the cahoots to try to fix the broken links in the Nick system. Now, if you're a believer in the Second Amendment, you're a, a constitutionalist, somebody who believes in our, our rights, uh, the background check is an infringement, okay? No other way around it. It's an infringement on your Second Amendment because it looks to see uh, how, how many ways they can either approve your uh, candidacy for a permit or a purchase or deny it. An infringement. Now this bill, and like always, I'll have a link in the description so you can read it for yourself. It's looking to do a couple things. Um, the first is they're going to mandate that the feds import um, necessary criminal data into the system, which would have removed the uh, ability of the guy who shot up the church in Texas uh, most recently. Uh, it wouldn't have been a, he wouldn't have been able to, to buy his guns legally, which he did because the Air Force didn't put in his domestic assault and, and his uh, dishonorable discharge and all that stuff. The second part is absolutely laughable. It's looking to hold f the federal agencies accountable if they don't do it. Right. Okay. Because that'll happen. The third is we always got to pay attention. You always have to follow the money. Okay. The third facet of this bill is looking to reward states that comply with federal grants. There you go. Money. It's also looking to reauthorize and improve law enforcement programs that will help the states communicate with each other because all they have to do is run a triple I, but what do I know? And the last one I'm worried about, and I'm telling you up front, I need to research this more, but it's looking to, quote, create a domestic abuse and violence prevention initiative in the NICS system itself. So is that the extreme risk protection order? That bill that was in 20 states individually? Is this looking to do it on a federal level? Uh, I hope not. If that's uh, there, if that's what it is, that's some serious, serious stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And you need to get on the horn with your senators, especially if it's one of the ones I listed. You need to have a, like, have a conversation with them and see where their head is at, because this is dangerous on so many levels. 
Uh, and maybe you want to bring your phone and show them on the Webster's Dictionary uh, address of what infringement actually is, what the definition is, because this is just more infringement on top of a system that is an infringement anyway. Now, if you have been paying attention for a while, you've been a, a Second Amendment advocate for a while, or even if you're not, this is a this bill is extremely similar to one that came out in 2007, right after the Virginia Tech shooting, and that one was called um, the Nix Improvement Amendments Act of 2007, and that died. Um, there wasn't enough credence; people were kind of seeing through that, and here it is again, again using a shooting as a catalyst to try to get all kinds of uh, infringements. Not against the criminals. See, I would be t perfectly okay if we did something that would limit the criminals' ability to obtain weapons. This does nothing but restrict the law-abiding citizen, myself, my neighbor, my uncles, your family, everybody who's a good person, who follows the law. It's going to affect your ability to purchase a firearm, your ability to be able to defend yourself, your family, and your property. It does nothing to address the criminals or the mental health issue. That is just something they want to sweep under the rug and not even talk about. Uh, you know, I say it a lot, but I, I need you guys to realize, and gals, hopefully there's a lot of gals watching, you need to be involved with your senators, your representatives, on the federal and state level. They are just people. Some of them believe that they're in charge, but actually you and I are in charge. We the people have the power. It's in every document that they have to follow. They work for us. So make them realize that. Please pass this along. Spread this to other members of the community. Any uh, Second Amendment groups you might have on Facebook or wherever. Pass this along, please. Thumbs up on the video if you could so that more people can see it. Because we know YouTube will not want people to see this truth. And the only way we can go around that is if we hammer it with thumbs ups and we hammer it with shares because then see it has activity and they have no way to stop that. Um, hopefully you would, wouldn't mind doing that for me. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.